I'm Danny, and this is Monica. Um, we are are you knit worthy? We are a knitting podcast, mo- mostly about knitting, um, and we do sometimes discuss some other stuff. Monica is a dyer. Um, we come together to talk about our love of knitting, and that's how we met. Um, I live in Charlotte, and Monica lives in Greenville, Greenville. South in Carolina. the Carolinas. Yes. So we're sorry that we haven't podcast in a long time. We've had a really busy summer. Monica has been the busiest. You want to tell us about it? Yeah, well, as you may know, I was an architect. I guess I'm still an architect, but I'm changing careers. I'm becoming a Spanish teacher this year. I'm going to be teaching middle schoolers. Also, my stepdaughter moved in with us, which that is a big change for our house and we're excited to have her but at the same time there's a lot of adjusting going on right now just took her shopping yesterday it was so much fun it's fun to have a daughter (laughs) so yeah i've been super busy trying to become a teacher decorating my class going to all the teacher things that teachers have to do which i of course always appreciated teachers just because my parents are teachers uh professors whatever but um your mom's professor too yeah they're both. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. And so now I'm appreciating it even more because I can I get to see from their stand all the things they have to do. Yeah, so if you're a teacher out there, kudos to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can say that I've done like a whole bunch of stuff this summer. We went camping. <laughs> um, I think we're still just adjusting since we just moved here because we moved here from Greenville um, in December. So that we're here now, this is our first summer, so we're just kind of like exploring what's around us. And um, that's about it. I think when we get to the ethos part of our podcast, people is gonna think that you're a big liar because she's been doing a lot. Yes, I've been doing a lot of knitting. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, other really big exciting news that we have is that um, we are going to Knit City in Vancouver. Yay! And so we're super excited. We're also going um, with Sam from Also Fiber, and also our other um, good friend uh, Jess. Um, I think you guys might have heard her, or she's definitely been on our Instagram. We've talked about her, I think, on the podcast before. She's Theo the Librarian. If you've seen her, I think she was also on the Black Mountain episode that yes we she was on that yeah we did interview her for that too so the four of us are going we are super super excited we're gonna get to meet these two awesome ladies yes Vera and and hoki and andrew mary is gonna be there and we're also gonna and we're also doing the trivia um, night yeah we're doing the trivia night um which is so exciting I know. um do we get to drink at the trivia night not that i'm dying to drink uh probably like, it's a bar, right? Or something. Yeah, oh, it's a pub or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, we're also, so I'm only taking one class and I'm taking Vera's class. Um, shawl shapes, right? Yeah, shawl shapes with you and Sam. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the only class I'm taking and then the rest of the time I'm pretty much going to hang out and knit, um, explore the marketplace. Um, me and Jess are just going to kind of knit with other people, get to know other knitters because you know, the knitting community is super fun. Bye, 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 bye. All the yarn. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try to control myself. Even though I keep on saying... I'm not, I don't think you're going to control yourself at a knit city, Vancouver. I know. Or I'm really not. Well, I said I was going to control myself up to going to knit city, but I have... She already didn't. All right. I, I mean, well, I bought some yarn, but I've been... Yeah. She can't I mean, herself. no, no. I think I've been good. I haven't really bought any. Compared to what you usually buy, I think you've been really yeah, good. Yeah, I've really been really good. So, yeah. um. And I'm going to go to two classes. Both of them, which is surprising because, so the whole, the whole reason why I'm going to Nate City is to see Hockey Locatelli because she, I think she's amazing and you all guys know that I think she's amazing. And, um, at the end of the day, I didn't end up buying her class. I just, I don't know. I did. I don't know. I just went through the whole list of classes, read all the, th- um, how do you call it? the summaries of how, yeah. what the class was going to be, and lately I've been in this 
um, kick of trying to do something like on my own, not really follow a pattern. And I'm always changing colors and rules and things. So I decided to take two classes. One is the shawl shapes, which I'm taking with Danny and Sam. And the other one is the joke sweater class, also by Vera. And she pretty much helps you to design a joke sweater, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. I kind of want to make one for Riker. That'd be cool. Um, and then you and Sam are also doing the lecture. Oh, yeah, the lecture. The interpretations, I think it's called. Yeah. The, the first night, Vera and Hoki do a lecture. But I think... So we booked our flights without knowing how um, crazy it gets in Montreal, I think, or Quebec. I have no idea. We, we have a connection somewhere that's going to be very messy for us, and everybody's telling Sam that we're going to miss our flight, so we might not make it to a lecture, which I highly doubt it. I think we're going to make it. I think I'll make it. Um, just run like maniacs. Yeah, we will. Um, yeah, so that's we're super, super exciting, um, especially when we get to what's on the table. Um, I totally been preparing for Knit City, so you can see all the stuff that I've done. So, also, um, we have our pin giveaway, which we talked about and we haven't really done too much. We, I think we were supposed to do this sooner, so sorry guys, we've been really lax this summer. But here's Monica's pin, and um, we did the ramen, the, the ramen. The, <laughs> I wish we did ramen. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> the, um, the random generator. Random um, number generator. Yes. And so our person was post number 13 on on our RAV group. And her name is... What's, what was her name again? Anne Brett Rupp. Okay. Yes. And we will contact you. And, yes. Yeah. And you can send us so that we can send you. If you, you are post event. number 13, just... Yeah. Yeah. So also... Quick administrative stuff. Also, we have our Swamp Bunny knit along, which is still kind of going along, and we're gonna do it till September first. Um, I'm working on some socks, and I'll show you guys later. Um, I got the price for the last. Um, yes. For the last um, giveaway, not the last knit along. Yeah. From Swamp Bunny, and I got some Swamp Bunny at the trunk show. I didn't bring it. I forgot. But yeah, it's super cool. Um, and then also our bobbles knit along. Um, so that was supposed to be our summer give, our summer knit along. Um, it's just taking it a, taking us a little bit longer than just yeah. the summer. We so, just have too much going on, guys. Yeah. We so sorry. we're gonna so we are gonna extend that. Um, there is one of you that did finish it, and it looks beautiful. Um, so you definitely kudos to you finishing super early. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so uh, I'll show you my progress on mine. Monica has done more than me. Mm -hmm. First time I've her to some knitting thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So let's go into what... Um, oh, also for uh, the bottles, um, Cal, we are extending it, but we just haven't really decided on a date. Yeah, on to how, for how long we're going to extend it. We wanted to reach with... Sam, because she's also participating, and it would be good to know. Yeah, so we're gonna yeah. um we're gonna we're gonna get together and we'll we'll post what date we're gonna do. Yeah, and we'll then, post it on our Ravelry group and we'll post it on our um Instagram account. And for the Swamp Bunny, need along we're gonna open a thread for the FOS. Yeah, and um okay, so now for the next for our next um normally after Swamp Bunny we would do another indie dyer. So we decided that we're going to skip that and we are going to start um, a knit along starting now and also we will post it and we're going to call it get it done and mm -hmm. we are just going take all your whips pick a few whips that you want to do keep yourself accountable put it in the group and say I'm going to knit these I'm going to finish this three or I'm going to finish this two because we're going to run this knit along till October 1st is yep. that correct? Yeah, so guys, you have what, three, four months to finish it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so September, October, no, oh, two months, what am I talking about? Yeah, we yeah. Have, well, two months and a half to finish yeah. it. So, I mean, if it's a whip and if you're halfway, maybe you can do two or three or four, depending on how fast you are. Yeah, so pick some whips that you have that you want to work on and finish and pick out and start that with our get it done knit along. And after that, we will start 
our next knit along, which um, we are going to do a Hoagie Vera knit along. Yeah. So it's going to be... And so you just pick any pattern from them, and we're going to do that for that knit along. And right. once we get closer to that knit along, that will be after the Get It Done knit along, and we will... Um, get more like dates on how long that knit along will run and kind of thing right and it doesn't have to come from interpretations books it could come from here or it could be any design that you like from them they have awesome designs and they are they they have been in the scene for a long time so you guys can find a whole bunch of things that you can make yeah from one skein shawls to sweaters and coats i mean you can do anything yep so um yeah, so that's what we have for all our administrative or administrative or how do you say that? Administrative. There you go. How do you say it in Spanish? Administración. That sounds a lot prettier. La administración. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we have done for that. So then we could move on to some fun stuff that we have going on. <music> So what do you have in the oven? So I have been working, I'm gonna show this one first because it is from our podcast. It's our knit along and it, I'm using my yarn and Sam's yarn. And this is my bubbles. It looks so pretty. And I am using Scout, which is the gray speckled with green and blues. I'm using Tango, which is my purplish color that you see in there. And I'm itching to put my next color on, which is this green that's called Ombu. I saw this when I was at Charlotte Yarns today, and it was really pretty. Yeah, I'm loving it. Like, it's so fun. But I, to be honest with you guys, I need to be, like, sitting down on my, at my house or at a coffee shop to do it. Because it's not... I brought it... So I just went to Charleston with my husband, and it's not a good project for the car. It's a good project for sitting down and knitting, but not for the car. The lace section? Yeah, especially the lace section. And I put <laughs> stitch markers like crazy because otherwise I make mistakes. I do that. I did that with my Tanya. Yeah. And so, but I think it's real pretty and it's coming out good, I think. I love it. I just saw Karina's today and it's so good with the turmeric. I kind of was like, oh, I wish I had some turmeric in this. But I love my colors. I love, love my colors. I do. I really, I really love this purple. I'm gonna do something with this purple one day. Yeah, it's pretty good. They have it at Charlotte Yarn right now. <laughs> so we did go to um, Charlotte Yarns today. We went to the Miss Bab Strunk Show at Charlotte Yarns, and um, if you're in the area, Monica's yarn is also at Charlotte Yarn. Yeah, that was really fun. Well, I also have my Zweig. That's my other in the on the table part. On the table, I wish. And this was her original project. If she finishes it, she gets a pin, even though she's got some pins for some other stuff. <laughs> I'm spoiled now. Like every time I finish something, I'm gonna want a pin. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the reward system here. <laughs> but this is my spike, and I got to the. I'm almost done with the body. I think. So okay, I'm gonna say this out loud so I actually do it. In two days, I will finish that rib. No more than two days. So by Monday, I need to start on one of the sleeves. You have to post it on Instagram. I will post it. Yeah, I'm very You should really take it. like a big long picture of this. It looks so good. I know, right? It's working out good. And I am on alternating skates because I'm that kind of person. Like, I don't like pulling. I don't know. So, yeah. And this That's is that. Snoop and Polo. My yarn. What else? And my last project that I want to show you. It's in my please trick knitting bag. And it's my Tanya. And I have been working on this like a robot until I got to the back. Because then when you get to the back, you need to like add stitches and stuff. So I stopped working on it because I was on that trip. So I took my um, Zwei. But yeah. You're really gonna fly through this now. Like once I started to split for the sleeves, I really... But I feel like it's kind of short, isn't it? Yours looks longer. No. No. And that's my Moonstone Dye Works um, Stardust color wedge. I love the color. I know, I love that pink. 
Oh, and she just had her baby. Super cute. She posted pictures on Instagram. The dye behind when stone dye works. I think if you can see the lace, it's hard to see the lace, but it's there. Um. Yeah. So those are my what's in the oven. What about you? So I have. Okay, so I have. Um, I just cast it on my weekender. So I literally just have. This is the front rib. This is the back rib. Um, this is Andrew and Mary's weekender. Um, it's with Brooklyn Tweed Shelter in Old World. So it's bottom top sweater. Um, yeah, it start, it's bottom up. Okay. Um, so this is the back rib. So what you do is you knit the back rib, which is actually a little bit longer than the front, and then you join them together in the round, and then you start the body. Oh, I see. And you do that so that you have a slip? Like yeah, it's a that. little oh. slip, yeah. Okay. So the color is really, really awesome. It's amazing. Um, has nice little, like, speckles of stuff. Um, I love the way Brooklyn Tweed knits and feels. It's just like, I don't know, like this kind of like thick textury yarn. I don't know how to explain it. It's Some just, people don't like it, but I really, really, really love it. Like I, I think, do. Yeah, I'm doing my Veronica sweater on it. Yeah. And I'm also doing my... The Will and Honey. Or not the Will no. and Honey. The Honey it's cable. Comb. It's a cable. It's a cable show by Andrea Murray. Honey no. Yeah, like the honey something shawl. Honey winter. Winter yeah. honey. Winter there honey. Go. Winter yeah. honey shawl. <laughs> Which I want to knit that one because I just love how it looks in the Brooklyn Tweed. So yeah. eventually that is on my list of what I'm craving for like super down the road, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I just started this. Um, I started it yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I think. Yeah. Because um, you just got the needles from your... Yeah. Needle dealer. Yeah, which was her. She had a stone on to me. <laughs> um, okay, and then I have... Okay, so here is... These actually have a little story. Um, so these are my Riff Roll socks. These are with Swamp Bunny. Did you restart uh, those? Yes, I did. Um, I went through a phase where I like restarted like everything. I know. Um, <laughs> so here is... Here's my first attempt to them. Wait, yeah, that's the one you just cut up. Yeah, and I was just like, I didn't even feel like ripping it out. I just literally just cut them off my needles. <laughs> so here, that's kind of what it looks like, the riff roll socks. Um, so it they has, dye some good greens, those babies. Yeah. I like them. Um, I don't have my colors on here, but it's on my in my projects. Um, so this is like, it's kind of cool. It has like, this is kind of like the back of it. And it has like, it goes up the leg and through the heel kind of thing. Um, and the front has a cool design. So with this, it said that um, to measure your foot and um, they're actually a little bit tighter because of this design in the front. So there's some like slip stitches and like, so, um, so I measured my foot and then I looked at the at the pattern and I looked how many was casted on and I was like, oh, that's gonna be way too big for my foot. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna knit a small and I'm sure it's gonna be fine. No. And even though my measurement of my foot was basically the next size up, but I was just like, oh, no, no, no. So <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I've been hanging out with this one too long. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna knit it the way I want. So I started knitting it and then it got to the point this far along that I could try it on and I tried it on and it was like pulling, like it looks really ugly. It was like this. And so you really even couldn't see the design in it. And so I was like pissed off. And so I stopped knitting on it and then I was just like, oh, I'm just going to knit it. Who cares? And then I was like, oh no, I hate this. So I cut it off. And then I restarted it. And then you're doing the size that you should do? So now I'm doing the size that I should do. Nice. And um, so I'm not super far, but here I am. So I'm just right now doing the foot of it. And they are short socks. So that's where I am with that whip. Now my last whip that I have going on right now 
is really exciting because I always say I'm going to try and be a sewer, but I'm not really a sewer, but I want to be a sewer. So I got this skirt. This is from So Liberated. Yes, right? it is. And um, oh, so I forgot the name of the pattern. It starts with a G. It's like great skirt. Um, it's a great skirt. So it has, um, and so I did not do this all by myself. Jess came and she really helped me along. She started me off. Um, she helped me pick out the fabric. I got my fabric from, um, from, um, I really like this fabric. Fabric.com. Yes. Fabric.com. Um, so I'm up to the part where I threaded my elastic in. And so you can see the fabric, it has a little bit it's like a grayish blue with some speckle of color in it. I think I have that fabric. Um, so, and so I need to do my hem. I need to finish the, the, um, the elastic. So this part up here, the elastic, um, the seams are not the best. But they're not bad. <laughs> that's okay. I'm for my stars. first, for my first project, um, I did pockets. Yeah, that's that's very challenging. So, um, but I mean, Jess really helped me along, and um, she really helped me get off to a really good start. So thanks, Jess. And so um, I'm really excited to finish it. So Ooh. hopefully the next podcast you'll be wearing it. I'll be wearing it because I really want to make stuff to wear with my knits yeah i think that's pretty cool so um yeah so that's that's the last that i have of all my lips when you're gonna show us your bubbles bubbles oh yes so my bobbles i also ripped out <laughs> she, she's been in a ribbon out kick so i was actually before i ripped out i was basically almost done with um the brio section like almost up to the lace part um but i decided that i originally had i was using eleanor so my first oh, one yellow yeah so my first one i was using eleanor and western or west weston weston yeah and so this was my first two color combo and so i got up to the brioche and i decided that I did not like it and I wanted to change my color combo and I wanted Terminek to be first. So I ripped the whole thing out and restarted. And so this is where I'm at now. So I'm still on the um, first section and I have Eleanor and Terminek first. That's pretty good. And so it'll also end with this too. Yeah, I think that's better. I think it'll end with it. I don't remember yeah. the map. But so um yeah, so I ripped that out. So I have this. I have I haven't worked on it a whole ton because I was just busy with other projects. But um yeah, so that's where I am now. But yeah, I went through like a whole ripping out um when I talk more about my rose cardigan later. Mm -hmm. Um I also ripped that out and restarted it. So I went through like I think the month of June. I was just ripping everything out. Yeah, which is really funny. So, yep. So that's where I am. So what's on the table then? Show us your... So what's on the table is um, my Tenya. I think you just stand finished. up to show the lace. So here it is. It's beautiful. Mars. Um, I did post some pictures on Instagram. I am super happy with it. Um, I do feel like I need to block it a little bit more to give it some more ease. Um, I made this small and the only thing I probably would have changed, I got gauge on a seven and I was going to make the extra small, but then I decided to make the small in a six. And I think I would have, if I was going to re-knit it. I think I would have feels so good too. do it. Yeah, it feels really nice. Um, I would re knit it in a seven. Um, I don't hate it. I'm absolutely happy with it, even though I would like it a little bit more flowier. But that's just. But otherwise, really, I have nothing bad to say about it. The pattern was awesome. The lace section was addicting. It was super fast. The whole thing really goes fast. 
Yeah. Um, this is Except in my, for me, because I'm like very <laughs> <laughs> This was one of my projects that I wanted done for Knit City. Um, so I'm happy I got it done. And um, this is in Monica's Yarn and Yarn Experiments. Buenos Aires. Yes. Which is the capital of Argentina. Um, so if you did notice on Instagram, if you looked at some of the pictures, it does have this like pulling. It pulls a little bit. And yeah. In the picture, you can see it more. In person, I don't have a problem with it. But to be honest with you, when she posted the first picture, I'm like, mm, she should have alternated her skin. Yeah. So she doesn't, so it's I good. don't, um, mainly because I'm lazy. Um, not that, like, should I really do it? Yes. Um, I don't think it looks bad at all. I don't, but it doesn't bother me in person. It's so yeah. pretty. So, and um, then you can really focus, like, on the little speckles over here, and then in the yeah. color here, it looks like marble. I don't know, I really like it. Oh, and I did also make, um, on the neckline, I was watching Christy Glass, um, her FO video on this and she talked about her neck that originally I think in Caitlin's pattern the neck is a little bit wider and um, that just I I don't like the wide like the big like boat neck or whatever mm -hmm. like I wanted a little bit closer so I followed pretty much exactly what she did she um, I knit three rounds and I decreased randomly 10 stitches and then knit another three rounds and then decreased another 10 stitches mm. and then knit because the neckline is eight is eight rounds and then you bind off so that's but I really like the neckline and how it came out so that modification was really good and I got that from Christy Glass so I'm glad I um I uh, watched her video before I did it yeah I really like it I just love the color it's so good so this is my first FO is coming with me to Knit City. Um, my second FO, which was also a Knit City that I wanted to get done. Um, oh, I also ripped this out too. Is my Harlow hat. Um, and this is done in Junk Yarn. Um, I believe the color is Lydia and Magpie, which is purple velvet I don't know it's on my project page but it's there this is the other side of it so um I made my husband a Harlow hat and then this was my Harlow hat that I made for myself so I did rip this out um in my month of ripping things out so my mistake was that when I started the brioche instead of doing the yarn over over the stitch that existed I was just making another yarn over so I like doubled my stitches oh my god so it came up huge so it was like huge by the time I realized that I did that I probably was like down to here like I had a significant amount of it done and um so I was kind of mad about it but so I ripped the whole thing out I let it sit for a while and then I came back to it yeah I I feel like mine is huge too. So, I mean, it is like, no, no fine. But yeah, so, um, which was weird because I didn't do that in, um, I didn't do that when Jason. Well, the first one, yeah. The first you one. You already knit one. What yeah, I already knit you? one, so I don't know why I did that. Oh, also, I, was, face. Yeah, <laughs> I also did the same exact brioche, brioche problem in my bobble shawl so when i was doing the brioche in the first color in the blue and the eleanor and i got to the brioche section i had to pull that one out too oh that's cute i don't feel like i'm a hat person but so i pulled that out and then <laughs> so i actually pulled i pulled out that one section and restarted it because i did it wrong and then i ended up re-knitting that section and then pulling the entire bobbles out so that was kind of crazy did I just break it or was it like this? No, it's just like that's not in all the way. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so here's my Harlow hat. I love it. I'm super, super excited about it. I it came out great. Colors. I love the colors. Um, I have a significant amount of yarn left over. I what are you going to make with it? I don't know. I thought about making like socks in this color because I really love this combo. You can mix this purple, the, the one that is. Um, just like a plain color, probably with that one on top right there. 
Really? With the pinks? Oh. With your pink? Yeah. Oh. Okay. You can do another hot or another brioche project, maybe a cow. Yeah. That's an idea. Okay. And then my la oh no. So then I also did my rose cardigan, which is finished. Da 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 Which I also love. It's amazing. So put it I on. love that sweater. Um, I can't say enough great things about this sweater. I love that the sleeves are so long. It was a really, really fun knit. Um, it's so good, Dan. So here it is. Um, there's full pictures of it. The sleeves are so cool. I just love how they fold over. Um, this There's finished pictures on my wrap page. Also posted on Instagram. So this is really cool. I did um, rip this out also. <laughs> Why did you rip it out? So originally I was doing the extra small. Oh, and you and then we went because, to the... Yeah. yeah. So I was doing the extra small and I had one quadrant done and I already started the second quadrant. Because with the whole like ease thing and I wasn't sure so I thought the extra small was going to be too was gonna be um, that this size was gonna be too big. Actually, I'm really happy with this size. I really love this size. I'm totally making this sweater. Um, so it's done in four quadrants, and then you sew the quadrants together. Um, the back is a three needle bind off. Um, so you have like a nice um, seam down the back. Here it is. I don't know how much you can see. But it has a nice seam down the back here. This three needle bind off, and you also do a three needle bind off for the collar. Um, so you knit it, you knit the quadrants, you do the three needle bind off for the back, um, and then you then you seam together the two to make your sleeves, and then you pick up for the rib on the bottom and you pick up the rib obviously over here for your sleeve which i love that the rib is so extra long i know and then you actually knit your collar in two pieces and then you seam the collar up and you do the three needle bind off she's a genius so um i'm really happy i went with the small um, the reason why I went with the small is that when we took Andrea's class and I was talking about it with her and I tried hers on, I really liked the way hers fit me. And when I was talking about it, she, um, she said also, cause I have a long torso and that the small would be better because the length of the extra small would probably be too short for me. She said the ease in it probably wouldn't have made such a big difference. But I think now that I have it all knitted up and it's on, I think the ease would make a big difference for me. Yeah, I think it's super cute. It's amazing. The so, color is great. It's love anime. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. um, and all my colors are listed on my page. And it's just an awesome fade. And I yeah. absolutely yeah, it's just really love it, love it, love it. I think I'm going to use these colors for mine. I'm just going to show them since they're showing your project. Yeah. So this is going to be my... I can just picture it. <laughs> that would look awesome. Well, I am I am these colors more than pink, don't you think? Yeah. I think I can use this color more than the pink. Yeah. I'm really, this is not, like, I don't feel this is, like, a true, true like, I think it's, like, a must, like, a, um. Yeah, it's not a pinky pinky. Yeah. It's, and this is not normally something that I would pick, so I'd have to say thank you to Donna. Right. Oh, yeah, because you were going for the other color. Yeah, and Donna was like, no, this is going to look good on you, and Donna was right yeah so i'm happy for that um it's super cute and so lastly i'm going to put all my projects in the bag that i sewed that's her last fo you guys this is my last fo the bag that i sewed i took a sewing class um so that was really exciting so my... there, there's the girl that didn't do anything this summer. So obviously this summer I've been doing some major crafting. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's all I, I got. I put this one in there. Oh, yes. There you go. Script, well, that, that one's not finished. Yeah, that one's not finished. But, so, there we go. That's all my FOs. Nice. And you have an FO. I do have an FO. And it's been 
in the closet for a while now. So I did finish it on time. I was a good test knitter. I and hope. she got and she got a pin. I did get a pin. Yeah. So this is the summer shirt, or that's what Hoki named it when she first um asked for test knitters. And of course I was like, me, me, pick me. And then she did. And I knit this on my sport base. The project is on I think it's on the Madeline Tosh page. It is on Ravelry, but you know how some projects are on Ravelry and then you have to go and buy it somewhere else? Yeah. Well that's the way it is. And I used um this colorway, which is Otoño, which means autumn. Put that up so we can see. And I am just in love with it. I did the size medium and um I ran out of one skein. Like, and I probably only used five yards. I lost a yarn chicken bad. <laughs> ah, but well, I mean, I have a whole skein of this same color to do something else, and maybe I can do like a sweater, like a shirt. Well, I don't think Rikers might wear it. I don't know. I don't know, maybe just a hat or something that yeah. I can do with you, that. You can make him a nice little basic hat with this color yeah. for the fall. Yeah. That actually, with this color would look really good on him. Yeah. So this is my FO and I just wanted to show you, these are my, um, this is my new base. It's the Sport Monkey 100. I love it. I also have another sport base that has nylon in it. This one is 100% nylon. It has 328 yards. You mean 100% merino. I'm sorry. Yeah. That one is 100% merino. The other one is 80-20. Like I said, this feels really, really nice. I love it. I mean, the colors take way better on the 100% than the one that has my one. And this is, these are some dirty ballerina that I think I'm going to use for the either the Gorth. Did you see that? Three? Yeah. I've been craving for that sweater, so. I dyed some dirty ballerina for a customer. Looks so pretty. And I said, I'm just going to do five at a time, five skeins, so that I can have some left over for me. I'm really excited about the The color, so in your in your sport base, compared to my fingering. Yeah, it is a little different. It's a, it is a little bit well, different. Look, you put it together and it really, no, oh, yeah, it's really it looks, the same. Yeah. Okay, never mind. But here, this is what it looks like up close on this game. This is just an awesome, awesome, awesome color. I still haven't decided what I'm doing with this yet. Yeah, and then, oh, this is part of the Rose Cardigan set. And I think I called this kit the Golden Rose Cardigan set or something like that. I haven't been dying much just because I've been super, super busy. But I'm, I need to get back to the dyeing because I will be at SAF and I am almost out of yarn. So I need to restock for that. I'll be at SAF too, helping her. Which I can wear my Tanya because mm, so it's all yarn experiments. All right, we're gonna focus on yarn experiments projects. Yeah, I think that's my what's on the table. I don't have much, guys. Mm. But I have an, an FO, which is good. Yeah, you have an FO, and you did a lot of schoolwork, so. Yeah. Oh, and can I talk a little bit about my Harlow? Yeah. All right. So. This is my Harlow, and it was giving me like the it looks like a Seahawks kind of thing, but. Mm, the more I knit on it, the more I like it. I think it's really awesome. And then I was going to Charlotte with my husband. And I like to bring like books and yarn with me while I'm traveling because I get like, I need to get something new for this travel. Which is really <laughs> stupid, but because I have so much going on. And I found this sweater. The one that Hoki is wearing. And maybe, maybe no, I think she will look, oh yeah, here it looks better. Okay. And I said, if I'm not loving my Harlow so much, why don't I rip it out and with this other colors, make that sweater. And that's Buenos Aires, Polo, and Tinta, and this green one is from La Vianne. I think it's Life Aquatic. And, and the first idea was just to make this shirt. But then Eric said, no, you have to do the hockey one, it's prettier. <laughs> I have a recording of that, but I'm not ready. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Should I 
Keep on making the hat. I think you should finish the hat, but if you really want to use that green for this, then you would have to take out the hat. But the hat looks really cool. Right. Okay. And you're almost done with it. But you're going to have a significant amount of the green left, so maybe if you weigh it, you might still have enough, but I'm not sure. I mean, are you still going to have even enough just with one skein? Like, how oh, much yeah. is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I just need one skein of each color. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess you could weigh it after you're done with the Harlow hat, because you do have a significant amount. Well, I need 320 yards. Oh, well, no, probably not, because that's like four or something. This is 460. Oh, no, these ones are 400 because it's single ply. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could weigh it. You might be playing yarn chicken. I'm loose again. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I, I need to think about it. Anyways, that was my trip thinking, what should I do? go to what are we craving for and since you started all this oh yeah all that's kind craving. of what you're craving for that's right I jumped into action so yes yeah. so which is totally cool um and you can tell us what you're craving for so I'm craving for since we decided we're gonna go to Nid City and Vera, Vera Valley Maki is going to be there I've been looking at this Midnight in Paris show mm -hmm. that's on Instagram and I'm I got these colors to make it and my third color is gonna be Buenos Aires. <laughs> so yeah, I have I have this skin right here. That's so yeah. So that's gonna be my Midnight in Paris and I think I'm itching to cast on. So I'll probably just cast on tonight if I get in time. At home. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know the best way to like. Because I have to drive two hours back to my house. But it's totally fine. This is so much fun. I needed it. Um, do you have anything else that you're craving for? Your Guthrie? Oh, yeah. Well, my Guthrie, I already showed yeah. the yarn that I want to use for my Guthrie. Oh, anything else? That's it? Mm -mm, I think that's it. Okay. Oh, wait. No, yes. Andrea Maury new sweater. Do you know the name of it? The one that has like the zigzag? Oh, she know? hasn't released it yet. Well, I'm craving for it. <laughs> that is a really, really cool sweater. She asked for test knitters and I was like, oh, I want to do it. But I knew like, I know. You can't trust me, guys. If I ever send you a request for test knit, unless it's something <laughs> tiny, like that you, you think I can do it. Or if you're hockey, I quit my job just to finish your <laughs> test knit, but, which I actually did. But it was for another reason that I quit my job. Anyways, yeah. um, unless it's a hat or something small, say yes. But if it's a huge sweater and I want to test knit it, please say no. <laughs> say no. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't know when it's coming. I think she says September because she also, I'm also craving some new Andrew Murray. Isn't it her Rhinebeck sweater? Yes, I think it might be. So it's probably coming out with Rhinebeck. But I also love her short little crop sweater that she's been previewing. I haven't seen it. Like, I've heard you and Sam talk about it, but I haven't seen it on Instagram or anywhere. I'll show you after we're done, but okay. it's definitely something that I want I want to make that little crop sweater. And I also do like her new sweater. I want to see what it looks like fully because um, one of the things that's on my list that I'm craving for um, is dude sweater. The dude sweater, yes. And I'm like, really, really, really want to make that this... Um, this year. And the swancho. What are we doing? Like yeah. we both have we have we have to do the swancho too. So because we both have yarn for that. Of course. So um anyway, so I was trying to decide is her new you know sweater. I'm gonna finish the hollow. I don't have time to do another sweater. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> um so I was trying to decide like is the do sweater too close to her other sweater or is it like similar like I would have that cardigan oh, and yeah, then I would just do because I also really want to do her wool and honey oh, that wool and honey yeah oh, it's really cool so I think like you see it fingering or sport it's fingering do you think you can pull I can probably pull it up with sport is it? um I don't, I don't know. know so I think with the wool and honey and the crop sweater I think I might just 
skip the cardigan, even I am liking the previews of it, but I might get my cardigan fill from my dew sweater. So right. I don't know, but that's part of what I'm craving for. So there, there we go in there. Um, I am also, um, I know I talked about a long time ago that, um, I had the Andrew Mowry, um, uh, I started here. This is the beginning of comfort my, fade. yeah, comfort fade. And I think because I've waited forever to, to get it going and I don't know what I felt about the color. I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling it. And it wasn't really, like, I don't know. It just wasn't calling me anymore. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, so we did have, actually, we did have a sleepover, a Knit City pre-party knit sleepover. <laughs> that was so much fun. I was yeah. not going to come. And then last minute, because my mom came to take care of my kid while I was doing this teacher intensive class, and she's like, Gabby, you need, she calls me Gabby. Gabby, you need to go. Like, you need some time off. And I was kind of feeling guilty to, like, my mom came here to watch my kid and I'm leaving her with my kid. Not only during the day, but also, like, yeah. at the night. But No, so it was awesome. So we all talked about it. And I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I am going to make my color. I'm going to use these colors. And I'm going to make the, the Caitlin Hunter to come see. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is going to be my man. I wanted her to make the Guthrie. And Sam was like, no, 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 no. Tecumseh is going to look better. And I yeah, but I him. actually, this sweater was on my list, so I'm actually really excited about it. Yeah, I think Sam was right. And the dark blue is going to be my cross. I'm getting really excited about this Midnight in Paris thing I'm going to do. It's going to look really pretty. And then um, the, like, feathery part of it. So the Tecumseh is decay. Uh, yes. Cool. And then it's going to be this color. And that's the Madeline Tosh. Yeah. Yes, this is the Madeline Tosh that I was going to do for the comfort fade. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> that is come. So that's what it's going to turn into. Um, it's probably not going to get started until after Knit City. Um, I want to do... <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> my Weekender, I want to get finished before Knit City. So that's like my main focus right now. Um... And the last thing, um, oh yeah, so then um, I guess it's also part of our desserts is that we went to the trunk show today That's and right. I bought these two awesome colors from um, Miss Babs. Babs. It's Morticia and Lurch, so Adam's family. Um, this one is her Yummy Two Ply, which I use the Yummy Two Ply base for my boxy sweater. And that one, she actually ripped it up my hands because I hadn't seen it first. That is true. And then this one is her Hot Shot base, and it's 80% Superwash Merino and 20% Nylon. Um, so there's that. And originally, um, so I'm going to use this for our uh, Hokey Vera um, Knit Along. And I'm going to make the... Um, the girl from the grocery store from from Hokey. Um, <clears throat> I originally was going to use different yarn for this, um, but I think I'm going to switch it up to this. I was going to use um, some Ching that I had, Ching fiber that I had in my stash, and Monica's t um, Tinta. But um, I think I'm actually going to do it in this colors. It's going to be cool. Um, and then the last thing that I'm absolutely craving to make is because I'm on trying to do some sewing. I'm going to make shirt one. Um, it's on Creative Bug. It's um, it's just a oh, simple. Oh, is that like the ten something sewing patterns? I think, I think I so. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna try and make that. So hopefully I can get that done. I think you will. So that's my that's all my stuff that I'm craving for right now. Yes, we're into desserts. Well, this was my dessert from today. And this I was got, my dessert. <laughs> I got um, Midnight Straw. It's in two yummy ply, yummy to ply. And that one is... Yeah, we showed the... Nebula. Yeah. What did you call it first, Danny? <laughs> I don't remember. 
<laughs> Nippola. Yeah, Nippola. Like, I was going up the stairs, and I was like, what did you just say? That was fine. Yeah. Um, I have two desserts that I love. <clears throat> so, I have to copy Danny on everything. So, I got this backpack a while ago, and I did, like, a whole little video about it. Um, so, mine's in gray. I do love this mustard color. It's really freaking awesome. So, yeah, this is the play straight knit knitter's bag knit knitter's knit backpack. backpack and yeah it's so freaking amazing it has like a pocket for your laptop or your books or it has whatever. pockets it's for your pockets inside it's gonna be my teacher bag and then the straps with leather and this cotton weave thing yeah and it came with this project bag which also has pockets inside and little holes for your for your yarn. I really like it. It's actually a really great bag. I like it. Yeah, I love the color. The only thing is like, I'm very sensitive. I'm that person. And like, the... Zipper? The zipper is kind of rough on me. Oh, you, you, yeah. You I've that noticed that it was a little rough on my yarn if it came out. Like, yeah. I had to make sure the yarn really comes out of the top of it so, and not Yeah, lean. so what I do is I fold it. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That way, if you want to keep your yarn in the bag, it's not gonna bother. Oh, is this yours or mine? That's mine. You have one. Yeah, I do. This is the knit check thing. I don't know if we ever talked about it, but I just bought one a little while ago. It's for your gauge. It's really awesome. Yeah, it's from Anne Bud Knits. And Sam think... had it, and obviously we all have to have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I had it because I saw it on um, Grocery Girls, I think, showed it, and I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. And I got it online, and then you just put it against your swatch, and you count how many yeah. stitches per. Yeah, it's actually really helpful for people that don't swatch very well, which is like me. Yeah, well, so that's that. I like the idea of folding that. Yeah, that's what you do with the with the zippers. And I found an awesome bag maker in um, Charlotte, Charleston. South Carolina. Love it. So this is a guy and I he told me the story and everything. So it's Jay Stark. That's the picture of his shop. And the brand is James Stark and they have like a bunch of sewing machines and they just make different uh, kinds of um, canvas bags. I got I the red it. one with khaki but they have every color. They have big yoga bags. They have backpacks. The canvas is so nice and thick. I just love it. Like I've been using the canvas French supply bags, which I love. The you know the regular yeah. that have writing on it, but this is way more um tougher. Yeah. I would say so. I don't know. It's just nice. It's just, that's what I use. Like, it has pockets. Purse. Yeah. And then it has pockets outside where you I I put my cell phone in there. Yeah. So that's really cool. And last but not least. Can I show this? Yeah, what is it? These are stitch markers from um, yeah. Owls and Orchids. Cause she's my partner in crime for the for the what? For your oh, yeah, advent, the cal advent calendars that are still in my shop. I'm not gonna make too many of them, but yeah. So she makes these awesome polymer clay. It's a little. Oh, wait, the face won't go. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, she's got some really cute things that she makes. And this is a this is the octopus from that movie, Nemo. Finding Dory, I think. I don't know. If you can see it, but yeah. And this is a turtle from Finding Nemo. Yeah. So those are all my desserts. Did you finish with your desserts? No. So my desserts are my Miss Bams. Um, I really do like it. It's like this purpley, like deep purple, almost like plum color, I would say. And it has some black and white in it, or like more of like a cream. I don't know. But both of them are really awesome. I showed you guys those. Um, I got another wrist ruler. It's the rose gold. Um, it was my birthday in June, and my husband bought oh, me. Oh, so cute. This, um, it's from Magpie, and it's like, um, 
I guess like a necklace with a little locket and it has um, stitch markers in it. It's really cool. Like that. Um, and I got, ah, where is it? Oh, it's stuck. Oh yeah. I got the fringe bag that came out, um, which I love. It's canvas. It's their bury me with my yarns and needles and I shall rest in peace. So obviously I needed that because how true is that statement? Very true. So, um, yeah, I think that's like all I have for my desserts. I really been trying to control myself getting ready for Knit City. So I think we've done pretty good. Yeah. So that's all I, I mean, I think we covered a lot in this episode. We've been, I mean, obviously I've been busy crafting. I've been busy changing my life around. <laughs> <laughs> so. Husband's still in the picture, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So this is what we got. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you guys didn't forget about us. And um, We're going to try to do it more regular like we used to. But yeah. at the same time, I can't promise anything. <laughs> but we'll try to get them as done as much as possible. And we hope that you guys still tune in, follow us with our knit alongs and on Instagram, which we're are you knit worthy on Instagram and also on Ravelry in our group. Um, on Ravelry, I'm Danny Knits23. On Instagram, I am Danny Knits. And I'm Yarn Experiments at Ravelry and Instagram. And yeah, pretty much in our Ravelry group are all the all the um threads to our yarn alongs or knit alongs and just post your FOs for some rabbit. We're gonna have a thread going, so you can win a prize. Yep. Oh, and Sam texted me. She wants to finish the knit along to the end of the year. Okay, so it goes to the end of the year, and um, I think NJ Knitter already finished hers. So you're pretty awesome that you finished, and we are sorry that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> that we didn't give you enough time, but we will extend it to the end of the year. So I guess December thirty first. Yay! So, everyone get along. If you want to join us, you can join us at any time now. Right. So, okay. Well, we'll hope to see you guys soon and check us out on um, Instagram and um, Ravelry for all the knit alongs and everything. And if you like our videos, just subscribe, subscribe so you can get notifications for our next episode. Yes. 